Hi. Today, let's talk about the latest fan series to come out from Ray Donaway, the GX series. We use Ray Donaway fans in the majority of our installations, and we do so not only because of their quality, but also because of the range they offer. We can dial in the right fan for the right situation. The GX series consists of four fans, the GX3, GX4, and the GX5. There's also an all-around powerhouse, the GX5A, which we will discuss last. Keep in mind that these are high suction fans, so you would use them if you had dirt, sand, or clay underneath your slab. This new series will be replacing fans in the GP series from Radonaway. So if you're just starting a mitigation or looking to replace a fan, let's see how the GX series of fans can help you in your situation. So let's start by talking about the GX3. This fan will replace the GP201, GP301, and the GP401. When we do a comparison with the GX3 and the GP301, we can see the difference between these fans and the upgrade that the GX3 provides. So the numbers on the left here represent the CFM that these fans are pulling at one inch water column. And we see that the GX3 is already pulling 30 CFM more than the GP301. Also notice how the GP301's range is more limited and maxes out at 2.3 inches of water column while the GX3 continues to pull more than 50 CFM and maxes out much later at 3.3 inches of water column. And one of the primary advantages of the GX3 is its versatility, enabling it to perform effectively in a wider range of scenarios. It possesses superior airflow capabilities compared to its GP series counterpart. And we see a similar comparison with the GP501 and the GX4. The GP501 has consistently been our preferred fan when faced with challenging soil conditions, and it really has served us well over the years. But once again, we can see a vast improvement in suction and performance with the GX4. At a water column of 2.5 inches, the GX4 already draws approximately 20 cubic feet per minute more than the GP501. This difference persists even as the pressure increases. With the GP501 CFM declining after 3 inches of water column and maxing out at 3.8 whereas the GX4 maintains its effectiveness until it reaches 4.8 inches of water column, where it maxes out. In situations where a large basement and higher radon levels require additional suction, the GX5, which offers additional power, could be used. And keep in mind that this fan maxes out at 5.2 inches of water column. Finally, we have the GX5A. This is a 4-inch fan, and it really needs 4-inch pipe to get the best results. Being a 4-inch fan, it is able to move more air while still having good suction. This versatility can help when you have medium to tight soil conditions, and you're just not sure which fan will be sufficient. And if you are a radon professional, it's a good fan to keep on the truck to help in a tricky situation. Keep in mind that if you are buying a GX series fan as a replacement for a GP fan on an outside system, the wiring is in a different spot and may require a change in fittings. Also remember that the GX4, the GX5, and the GX5A will need a 6.5 inch manometer. And that's due to the high suction of these fans. If you have any questions regarding the GX fans from Radonaway, or if you need help with your own DIY radon mitigation, please reach out for a free consultation on our website. There you'll also find available for purchase the full GX series of fans. Thank you and have a nice day.